Corverse number 52, congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment. And it's just right that we would conclude our study with a passage from Revelation 21, 1 through 3, about the place we're going. We're going to look at three things in these three verses. A new heaven, new earth, the new Jerusalem, and the voice of our God. So the new in universe, the new city, and our very ancient God. Here we go. Again, it's a longer verse, so we're going to go fairly quickly, knowing it will take some work on your own, but hey, you're professionals by now. First thing we look at is the new heaven and the new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And now the counterpart, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. And now we have this little addendum, and the sea was no more. So heaven, earth, sea thrown in at the end. Heaven, earth, sea at the end. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. Let's do that a couple more times. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. So that's the first thing we see. Let's put that off to the side. Second thing is a new city. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem. It's a little bit odd. I I keep wanting to say the New Jerusalem, but it's just the holy city, New Jerusalem. It's kind of the name of it. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. Coming down out of heaven from God. So, and I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. Now, there's this other little description. And if you can imagine God the Father uh, dressed in a tux with the New Jerusalem dressed in a wedding gown, and God is escorting her down the aisle to meet us. That's the the picture being painted. So, and I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. Let's try that again. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. So that's the First and second thing, a new new heaven, new earth, and a new city. Let's put those two together. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Now the third thing is the voice of God. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, what do you say? Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. In other words, we're getting right back to Eden all over again. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, behold, the dwelling place of God is is with man. And then this beautiful line, if you can only memorize one sentence, here it is. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. One more time. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will dwell with them as their God. Let's put it all together. We're only going to do it once. You'll need to work at it on your own. This is core verse number 52, Revelation 21, 1 through 3. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. 
And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. Revelation 21, 1-3. through 3.